Hello everyone, welcome to Bab Fashion's YouTube channel. Today we're we'll learning how to make a gong sleeve. Okay, a gong puffy sleeve. So the materials I'll be using to achieve this sleeve is my hard gong stay. This is the hard gong stay and it is fusible. And then this is the fabric I'll be using. It's an organza brocade and then my lining. Then also you need your basic sleeve pattern. So I have my basic sleeve pattern and this is the part for the back because for our basic sleeve we have the front and the back. So if you don't know how to trap the basic sleeve, I'll be dropping the link in the description section so that you can check it out. Okay, so to get started, I'll place my basic sleeve on my hard stay. So I'll come down by by three inches to four inches from the start of my gum stay. I'll just go ahead to use my marker to draw on the gum stay. This is so that it's clear. So here yeah, I'm coming down by four inches, four inches from the start of my gum stay. And then I'm shifting away from the center front here which is the folded part of my gum stay i'm coming in by two inches so i left two inches at that point so you can see where it is so i'm just going to pin it down okay so i haven't done this because it's a puffy sleeve i want to achieve i'm going to go up at this point I want to curve my sleeve to come into this point to just blend it to this point so i'll just place my pattern master like this and then i'll bring it here remember i came down by four inches so i'll bring it here and then i'll blend it into my actual sleep pattern so can you see what i did you can actually use your free hand to achieve this so all you just need to do is to create that curve here and then blend it into this part because i want to have that puffiness around here and then i'll go ahead to just take this line all the way down it's not going to be a fitted sleep so already you can see my allowance here i have my sewing allowance already here so i'm just going to take it straight so whatever I have at the cap's height, which is the armhole part, I'll just take it down straight to give me that wideness at the, at the bottom of the sleeve, okay? So this is a short sleeve. The length of this sleeve is 12 inches. Can you see this without hemming allowance? This is my 12 inches. So I want when I am done, I will have 11 inches when I'm done. So by the time I take half inch here to sew and I take it out to come down to half inch. So it's just a short sleeve. Okay. So I'll go ahead to cut out my gum stay now. So I'll cut this curved part out too. Okay. So now that I have this, I'm going to cut another one. That's I'm going to have two of this. So because I'm making two sleeves, I'm going to have two of this. And then I'll go ahead to cut my organza fabric and then also my lining. Remember that this is a stay. I'll fuse this stay to my lining fabric. So I'll go ahead and cut out that and show us what to do next. Okay. So for our gong sleeve, so you can see i've applied my gum stay to the lining fabric you can see what it is here so this is my main fabric remember i'm using an organza fabric so that's why i went ahead to line the organza first to align the organza so that it's not transparent so i made my lining half inch shorter than the main fabric so can you see it's just half inch shorter so now what i'll go ahead to do is to place this that's this side of course this is now the good face of my line since i have my fusible gum stay here 
So I'm just going to place it good face facing good face or right side facing right side. Then I'll sew on half inch. So I'll do that for both of them. Okay. Now I have my crino line. If you are using a hard gum stay, you may not really need this like I'm using. But I just want to apply this because it has a way of giving it that fluffiness at the bottom. That's at the hem here. So you will do well to sew your gum stem, your crino line on the hem of your lining fabric. So right now, at the hem here, I'm going to go up by half of an inch, by half of an inch, and then sew my crinoline at this point. I take note, I said sew, go up by half of an inch, and then sew your crinoline on this part. So after doing that, the remaining that half inch I went up by, that's what I'll be using to join my sleeve. So that's the lining fabric to the main sleeve, and then I'll show us the next step. So I'll do that for the two sleeves and come back. I had to sew my cranial line on the base of the sleeve, and then I also went ahead to sew the lining and the main fabric on the half inch I left here. So can you see? So now, this is what we have. So the next thing I'll do is to fold it this way. But before folding this way, first, I'm going to top stitch my sewing allowance to the lining part. This side with the gum stay is the lining part. So this is my sewing allowance. In order to give it that neat finish and for it to relax well, I'm going to sew, top stitch my sewing allowance, that's this seam allowance now, to the, to my lining fabric, okay? So, and then I'll go ahead to fold my sleeve like this and then sew on one inch. Take note of how it is. The lining is this way. The li uh, main fabric is this way. The lining is this way. So I'm going to be sewing on one inch. That's after I have top stitched my seam allowance. Okay. So I've sewn on my one inch and I've also top stitched my seam allowance. So I want to flip it now to the right side. It's just for you to neatly finish it so that you all seam allowances are hidden inside can you see so you can see how neat the lining part is okay so now after doing this i'll go ahead to top stitch so you want to just press this part with your seam iron so that it relaxes well so now because i top stitched my seam allowance can you see how it's taking part of my main fabric this way so it's just allowing it lay flat so you won't see the lining from outside so it's just neatly finished so i'll iron it and then take to the sewing machine and top stitch this part before i'll now show us how to create the pleat to achieve the gong sleeve so after turning my sleeve and top stitching it can you see what we have so this is the best way to press your sleeve you press it from inside like this so that you don't fold anywhere and give it any crease line. So you can see what I'm doing. So this is how to press your sleeve. Okay. So after pressing the sleeve now, we want to create the pleat. That's we want to give it that puffiness to come back to this size of sleeve. This is our basic sleeve. So we want to bring it back to this size without our sewing allowance without our sewing allowance because remember we have sewn already with our sewing allowance so and what i used was i added a sewing allowance of 1.5 which is what i have here but i sewed on one inch so that's extra half inch so what i'll be folding my sleeve what i'll be pleating my sleeve to i want to have this is 8.5 here so plus half inch that's nine inches so i'm going to be pleating this sleeve to nine inches so I'll come here and get the center of the cap here. So you can either pleat it or gather it. So I'm just going to be pleating in this case. So you can, what I'm doing now is an inverted pleat. So I'm picking from this side and bringing it towards the, the left. So you just use your pin to pin it down. And then I'll also bring this side too. And then pin it also. 
So I'll bring this part too. Can you see what I'm doing? So I'm bringing this side also. I'm pinning. So I also come here to bring this side and then also go ahead to pin it. So now I want to take my measurement. Remember, I'm looking for nine inches. So I'm just going to go ahead and take my measurement. So you see, I have 10 inches. So that means I still have half inch to pleat on, or one inch to pleat on both sides. So I'll come here and pleat another half inch. And then I'll do the same thing on this side. So I'll go ahead and confirm it. So I now have my nine inches. So can you see? So can you see how this beautiful, this bum sleeve is looking? I'm just going to take it to my sewing machine and then top stitch, sew my cleats down. So the same thing I've done for this is what I'll be doing for this one also. And then I'll come back and show us. Okay. So after pleating my sleeve, just sewing it, can you see? what I have. See, it turned out really beautiful. I hope you enjoyed making this video with me. Kindly share, like this video, subscribe to my channel. Okay, this is the final look of our sleeve. So thanks for watching. See you in my next one. Bye!